Hey, Ron here from Military Images with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. About two weeks ago, I spoke to a group here in my hometown of Arlington, Virginia, the Neighbors Club, about Civil War photography. It was quite crowded for an afternoon event and had a lot of great questions. Afterwards, a woman came up to me, her name is Eleanor Laughlin, and told me the story about her Civil War ancestor named Henry Haymond. When she was finished, she said, hey, I have some photographs of the family, including one of him at home, and we arranged to get together. We had that meeting today. And the picture that I'm showing you here, the one up on the screen, is Henry Haymond. It's a previously unpublished photograph. And you can see him here with his cap, the infantry horn, the regimental number 18, his captain's bars on. Turns out that Henry Haymond was in the 18th U.S. Infantry, spent most of the war in the Western Theater, was wounded at Stones River, was apparently a great leader, according to all accounts, had two brevets uh, for major lieutenant colonel, went on to a successful career, including a stint in politics, and lived until 1920. I scanned this photo, I scanned photos of his wife, images of Hammond when he was older, a great collection of photographs. And you know I love the photographs, but what really touched me was a letter that I scanned, a beautiful letter written by Hammond to his grandson in 1919. The grandson was celebrating his second birthday. Hammond had less than a year to live he was going to never see his grandson grow up, but he wanted to give him some advice. And the letter, it's a one-page letter, front and back. And I want to read it to you because it's just so sweet. And there's a touch at the end, which when you realize that he's a Union soldier and fought for the country, makes it even more special. So here we go. My dear son, Ned. On this, your second birthday, I address you this note to be opened when you are able to read and understand it, which I suppose will be about your eighth birthday. It is unusual that you should be living at this time, four grandparents and three great-grandparents. Of course, before you read this, I will have been dead in the graveyard, but hope you will occasionally think of me as you are the only boy in my family. You are today a lively, active little fellow, and it is fair to grow up into a strong, healthy man with a good disposition and genial manners. Now, he says, now I want to give you a few words of advice. Obey your parents. Always tell the truth. When away from home, never do anything that you think your father and mother would not like. Treat old people with kindness. Be good to the poor and unfortunate. Always be polite to the ladies and agreeable to everyone. In all your business doings, be honest and honorable. Learn to control yourself, for he who conquers himself is greater than he who conquers a city. Always be loyal and true to your country. I am very affectionately your great-grandfather, Henry Haymond. How lovely is that? Those two last pieces of advice. He who conquers himself is greater than he who conquers a city and that last one with a touch of truth that comes from a Civil War veteran. Always be loyal and true to your country. Wow, that's powerful stuff. So there you have it for today. A letter from Henry Haymond to the grandson he would never see grow up, written in 1919, a year before Haymond passed away. We'll see you again on the next episode. Take care.